Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises and double honors due to Yahweh by Hashem Hamashiach Wamalaki Awashai. Secondly, this is Brother Yardan, W5 Detroit, coming back at you with yet another cold cut. Today in this cold cut, we'll be going over Sirach the 38th chapter, and we're going to dive right into it. All right, Abba Ratazah Israel will be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem And we're going to go through each and every verse and break it down properly. All right, Abba Ratazah, that's the Father's will in the Hebrew. That Israel may be edified and have more precepts to their arsenal. All right. Sirach 38, verse 1. Honor a physician with the honor due unto him for the use which you may have of him, for the Lord created him. All right. That's facts. The Lord did indeed create the physician. All right. So don't be that over righteous super brew. When you break your damn leg and you start saying, look, look, I, I got to pray. I'm a fast that my, that my leg get healed. No, brother, you got to go to the doctor. You got to go to the damn hospital. All right. There is actually certain, you know, um, situations in, in life where you will have to be in the presence of these doctors. All right. Don't be over righteous. Why should thou destroy thyself before thy time? That's the scriptures. You understand? So don't be that guy. Let's bring that out real quick. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse. 16. Be not over righteous much, neither make thyself over wise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? And a lot of brothers make themselves over wise, even in those scriptures. All right. Now, granted, you know, you have to do this with wisdom. Don't go to the hospital when you have a headache. Don't go to the hospital when you have a damn cold. You should not always find yourself in a hospital for every type of situation. All right, you have to use wisdom and knowledge. All right, and understand that you don't have to always go to them. All right, they tell you that in Wisdom of Solomon 16 and 12. Two birds with one stone. Because this verse goes hand in hand with the next verse that we'll read in Psalm 38. Wisdom of Solomon 16 and 12. For it was neither herb nor mollifying pastor that restored them to health. For thy word, O Lord, which healeth all things. All right, when you have something little or light, such as a headache, damn cold, hey, pray to the Lord. He can remove that spirit off you, that spirit of sickness off you. You understand? So again, when you sick, there's, you know, there will be times in life where you actually have to go to, before the damn physician. And not every physician is wicked. All right, remember the most I can put in that physician's spirit to heal you. All right, it's ultimately of the Lord. Remember Luke, he was a physician. For those brothers that insist to have a KJV Bible at home, all right, you can check it out in Second, I believe, Second uh, Thessalonians. All right, in the margins it will say Luke the physician. Okay, let's get Second Chronicles sixteen. In twelve, and I said the thirty and ninth year of his reign was diseased in his feet. Until his disease was exceeding great, yet in his disease he sought not to the Lord, but to the physicians. And Asa slept with his fathers and died in the one and fortieth year of his reign. You see what happened when you don't seek the Lord first? So before you even decide to go to the physician, pray to the Lord first. Sirach 38 and 2. For of the Most High cometh healing, and he shall receive honor of the king. The skill of the physician sh shall lift up his head. And in his height, it's like and in the sight of great men, he shall be in admiration, right? So the most I give these physicians certain knowledge on how to execute and tackle or how to, uh, you know, solve this problem or that problem in the body. Verse 4, the Lord hath created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. All right, plain upon tables. There's a multitude of beautiful, comely herbs that's on the earth. You'll be a fool to... The hell, select like You'll be a fool to abhor them. Abhor meaning to uh, detestably hate. Verse three, Selachia. Verse four, the Lord. At, verse five, Selachia. Was not the water made sweet with wood, that the virtue thereof might be known, and he might select and he hath given men skill that he might be honored in his marvelous works. So at the end of the day, the Lord gets all the credit. We don't give a damn about these physicians. Hey, the Lord gets all the credit at the end of the day. 
right? A lot of these physicians actually are haughty, all right? They say, what God? I did all my study. The Lord, the Lord helped you do that, all right? They gonna get their judgment too, because they're prideful. But I digress. Verse six of selecting verse seven. With such doth he heal men and taketh away their pains. Of such doth the apothecary make a convection. And of his works there is no end. And from his peace over all the earth, my son, in thy sickness be not negligent, but pray unto the Lord, and he will make thee whole, plain upon tables. Leave off from sin and order thy hands aright. And cleanse thy heart from thy all wickedness. All right, beautiful verse. And when you keep reading in verse eleven, it'll say, "Give a sweet savor and a memorial of fine flour, and make a fat offering." Right, as not uh, as not being. Verse twelve, then give place to the physician, for the Lord hath created him. Let him not go from thee. For thou hast need of him. All right, we already explained that. Verse thirteen: There is, there is a time when in their hands there is good success. See, so that's the cut for brothers that say, "I'm never going to the doctors." Brother, you broke your leg. Go to the damn hospital. Brother, you you need heart surgery. You got to go to the hospital. Verse fourteen: Right now, I was well. I can't mention that word, but that that bee sting. That bee sting. Right, if you know what I mean, and you know what I mean, all right. No getting that bee sting, no getting that jab, all right. Oh, shit, shrimp. Oh, it's lucky. What the hell? Um, it's lucky. Uh, verse 14 For they shall also pray unto the Lord that he would prosper that which they give. For ease and remedy to prolong life. He that sinneth before his maker, let him fall into the hand of the physician. Right? <coughs> and it's kind of double fold too. If you sin, the Lord gonna jam you up. Now you're in the hand of the physician to heal you. Right? Instead of the Lord. You know? Or on the other hand, hey, the Lord can jam you up. Put you in a hand of the physician and he can make your life worse. Verse 16. My son, let tears fall down over the dead and begin to lament as if thou hast suffered great harm thyself and then co cover his body according to the custom and neglect not his burial. So we had certain burial um, systems in place in the world of Israel. You can read about that in what? John, the 19th chapter, in the 40th verse. Then took they the body of Yahweh Shai and wound it in linen clothes with spices as the manner of the Jews is to bury. So we have certain manners and customs and traditions. And, and this is a, a cut for brothers that think all traditions are wicked. Hey, that's the tradition amongst Israel, right? Because it's not really specified in the law that you can't get cremated, but it's in our customs. It's a holy thing. It's a beautiful thing to get buried, right? You should not want to get um, what are they uh, cremated? That's the Edomite thing. That's the last thing a brother should want. All of our forefathers got buried, even Yahweh Shai, our Lord. So that should be the last thing on brother's mind. Saying, "Hmm, I want to get cremated. I want to get stuffed. You know, I want to donate my body to science." Brother, get buried like your forefathers. All right. You really think the Lord would be like, "All right, cool. I like that. He he donated his body to science." Come on, brother. You got to be real with yourself. You got to honestly be real. Um, let's go back to Sirach. So don't neglect the um, the burial, his burial. All right, verse 17. We bitterly and make great moan and use lamentation as if as he is worthy. And that a day or two, lest thou evil spoke, uh, spoken of. And then comfort thyself for thy heaviness. See, that's so the Lord tells you and informs you how to deal with when people die. All right, because not everybody died is, is was wicked. Right, but that's a that's a breakdown for another time. But understand that not everybody that give up the ghost 
oh, they was judged. The Lord, you know, the Lord Kendall because he was super wicked. And he was doing wicked shit behind closed doors. Hey, sometimes Most High can just remove whoever he wants. Israel tends to forget that as well. That's Isaiah 57. All right. The Lord did that, in, in, I believe, in the book of Kings, where he killed, um, uh, I believe, that king's uh, firstborn. Right, one of his kids, right, to kind of uh, save him from the uh, upcoming troubles and woes. Um, verse 6, if it's like verse 18, for of heaviness cometh death, and the heaviness of the heart breaketh strength. Damn, that's every brother can admit to that and sister. In affliction also sorrow remaineth, and the life of the poor is the curse of the iron heart. Take no heaviness to heart. Drive it away and remember the last end. Forget it not. And a lot of this is self-explanatory. Forget it not, for there is no turning again. Thou shalt not be thou shalt not do him good, but hurt thyself. Remember my judgment. For thine also shall be so. Yesterday for me, and today for thee. This is a heavy chapter. Verse 23. When the dead is at rest, let him remember let his remembrance rest and be comforted for him when his spirit is departed from him see that so you got a mourning this thing that's the rack 22 and 12 all right verse 24 i'm not going to be able to uh let me get sirach 22 and 12 Seven days do men mourn for him that is dead, but for a fool and an ungodly man all the days of his life. Even Esau uh, mourned. He said, for the days of my father, at, uh, what do you say? The days of mourning for my father are at hand. He said that in uh, Genesis 27, 41. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing that were with his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. So as, as wicked as shit as Esau is, as wicked as he, as he, as he is, he, even, he, he understood that there's um, a mourning process. 